Welcome to the Japan Study Mission 2015. Tell me your name, tell me a little bit about yourself, and why did you come? I'm Glenn Bostock. I'm CEO and founder of SnapCab. We make a simple to install elevator interior system. And the reason I came to SnapCab is we've been in a, in a high growth mode for a number of years now. And this last year, uh, we almost doubled in size with employees. So with, with that, our lean culture was getting watered down. We had a nice culture going and it was getting watered down. And I realized for me to continue to grow my company, I have to develop the leaders under me. So I've brought my manufacturing manager and my goal in life now is to turn the guys under me into leaders. And I hope their goal is to turn the people under them into leaders. Tell me about your organization. How big is it and what kind of challenges are you faced with today? All right, myself, I'm a cabinet maker. I, I grew up doing woodwork. My goal in fourth grade was to become a woodworker. I achieved that goal. Uh, I had no idea that I'd end up owning a manufacturing company. In 1998, I got into doing elevator remodeling and we came up with a systematic approach to remodeling elevators. That led to a contract with Otis Elevator to do elevator interiors nationally. We made an elevator interior that shipped in a kit that reduced their insulation time for an elevator interior from four days down to one day. Well, the challenges from that high growth was I, we were used to being craftsmen building, building things one at a time and we had to be able to scale up and I had to learn how to work on my business and not in it and I needed all of my employees to help me create the processes and the systems that we needed to build the company. So what we've adopted over the years is where I used to punish my employees for making mistakes, we now reward them. And our, my whole goal is to get the employees to feel how, like they're having fun at work, they're appreciated, and the systems they put in are important. And I need everybody to become a process engineer. And they're, um, it's pretty cool. People are happy and smiling coming to work. And I'm not saying, it's not frustrating sometimes, but when I do, I know that's not going to make these guys want to come, come in on Monday morning. So um, I, I hold back and realize I don't think I gave these guys enough instruction or they didn't get the right training. And therefore, that's why we're in Japan, is this is the beginning of hopefully the next, growing to the next level with, with our company. What do you hope to get out of this next week of travels? Well, something I've learned is you don't know what you don't know. And I think we've gotten the basics of lean down, but we've got a long ways to go. Um, now that I've had my eyes open to looking for waste, I see it everywhere. And I, I cheerfully look for the opportunities, and, but I need a bigger team of people that see the same waste I do. And it's, um, so what I'm thinking of doing actually is creating a, possibly a contest of uh, getting people to pitch in to, to help improve systems and the prize would be I'm thinking about bringing them back to Japan or doing other lean training so turning up using training as a prize and getting the guys to do some traveling and stuff I think I think that'd be pretty cool Excellent. tell me one thing that you learned about lean leadership and how it applies to different businesses what I've learned about lean leadership is it's a whole nother level of maturity where when I first started in business, I was thinking about myself, and now I'm thinking about the team, and I'm learning to how to sit in the back row and let the other guys take the limelight. It's, there's a lot of counterintuitive things about lean. Um, so it's, it's, pretty, it's helping me grow as a person. So I think that's what I'm learning. Tell me something interesting about yourself or a goal that you might have in this coming year. I don't know if this is interesting, but um, I married a gal from Canada, uh, we've always been interested in Canada, so several years ago we started a second company in Kingston, Ontario, manufacturing elevator interiors. And that actually has helped us a lot to improve our systems because we realized 
If we're going to start a second location, we're going to have really have to dial in our processes and systems. So we're doing that now and it's a lot of fun and we're building a retirement home up on one of the Thousand Islands as well. Excellent, thank you. Thanks.